Sí, hola, hey, bienvenidos a Games Over. Jugamos a Disco Elysium, un juego que pone todo el mundo por las nubes, en plan roleo y tal, y de toma de decisiones y investigación y eso. Entonces, vamos a jugarlo. Me lo he pillado en las rebajas de Steam y pues tengo ganas de probarlo. A ver qué tal. Nueva partida. Intelectual, emocional, bruto o personalizado. Emocional, muy receptivo de personalidad magnética pero inestable. Podría llegar a perder la cabeza. Muy inteligente, genera su opinión sensible. Se documenta todo tipo de ideas y datos interesantes. Vamos con este. There is nothing. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious for men cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. No existe nada, tan solo una negrura primordial y cálida. Tu conciencia fermenta en ella, no más grande que un simple grano de malta. Ya no tendrás que hacer nada más. Nunca. Neva, Eva. Nunca, jamás de los jamases. Never, ever, ever, baby. <ríe> Continuar inexistiendo. And an audience a mere time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Totalmente desprovisto de conflictos. Continúa el libro de las mujeres. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. Ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. No, quiero saber lo de la expresión. Ex love, ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of allergic zone. Alums. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. De Villanada a de la mierda. Un billete de vuelta de silencio, por favor. De si tienes el viejo, es lo que hacer. Eh, hey, mira, ahí está, me estoy harto de ser todo ese animal. A quien cojo no le importa. ¿Quiere que lo convierta en un viaje solo de ida, señor? No, espera, necesito humillarme un poco más. No parece. No parece, sigue cantando. Cántame la tonada de la muerte. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. 
Somehow, you know what it is. A Cupris can name a motor carriage. Um carro de Cupris que nem um Estuche de cinta azul. Un poeta para describirlo. Le pone botella en la bañera, vino, cerveza y licores dulces. Este estuche solía contener una cinta, pero fue destruido en un ataque de ira. Algo del single Smallest Charge in Science Science del grupo Eteniers debe haber cabreado a alguien. Según la etiqueta, la canción fue grabada en el año 43. Enciclopedia. You hear a jingle. Un tintineo. Keys are Hay una llave en el bolsillo de los pantalones de campana. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is exit. It should open the door. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Oh. Igualada, Esto es una tirada de reacción. Si fallas, puede ser intentada. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of the blades come squeaking to a halt. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically f the lights are off. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Algún proyectil, un objeto contundente, ya que habría esparcido fragmentos por el suelo al volver a introducirlo para impactar el impacto. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Una pelota. Un... Like the green shoe Como that's on the hacker in the pelche. corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Que le falta su compañero. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. 
The door to it should be outside your room. Vamos a coger. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Encuentra tus dos zapatos. ¿Vale? Salgo para afuera, ¿no? De tranqui. El nuevo no aviso me dio que tengo canosis. Joder, ¿cómo soy? There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Pues bien, ¿no? Misión cumplida. Mucho más fáciles que las del otro lado. Like two baby crocodiles. <laughs> Descarta el pensamiento. Good, they're balanced. Comfort. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Es lo único bueno que tengo. Dice, son bien, son cómodos y equilibrados. A decir verdad, se podría decir que ahora mismo son lo único bueno que tienes. Vale. Wow, qué música, eh. Hostia. Oh, mola. Vale, bueno, pues vamos. Oh, ¿Puedo hablar? Vamos a hablar. Hello, officer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Las G. Miss Orange, bailarina disco. La joven se un cigarrillo de lado. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Uh, no. Because you're a police officer, sir. I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. <laughs> you've been here for three days on official police business, no less. ¿Y qué son Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. <laughs> you have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight lit drunk? She must have heard something. No, no. She nods. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. Hay un Locals probably got tired of it. Ahí, ya una semana de engaño, se habrán cansado y han llamado a la policía. ¿Por qué no me lo has dicho antes? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. No me con tanta información. Me parece un poco ido, agente. Officer. Could 
Could it be because of the drinking? She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Hmm. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Peace in mind. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes. There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. I couldn't that? say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about oh, oh, the better. Ah, oh, eso sí. Eh, cuanto menos se hable de oh oh, mejor. Ostentatius, tadios, orchestratius. Oh oh, we're huge. Where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like seven. Life gets hard, Carlos. Life gets hard, but we go on. Y seguimos adelante. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Yes, there was a church in there, a really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also... That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but... You sounded like a wounded boar. <laughs> it was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. A window was smashed. A tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Para entonces, todo era silencio de las cuatro o cinco. You're in a hostel, sir. Well, We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Yeah, it's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers, they have names. And civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Yeah, the dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. 
At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. It's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have. Civilization has existed. You're right. There is nothing funny about glad to have been of assistance. La puerta de verano permanecerá cerrada durante el invierno. Yo ni tengo idea. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Deberías marcarte un karaoke en cuanto tengas ocasión. Tus emociones necesitan expresión. La gente debe conocer lo vasto de tu alma oceánica. Utterly, and it needs to be heard. Y existe ser escuchado. Through a PA system by other people. You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Estaba pensando que todas podría cantar algo alegre, como por ejemplo algo de Ostentatious Orchestra. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Pero es que no quiero cantar esa. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Un hombre de veintitantos se encuentra tras el mostrador examinando un ave disecada. Al aproximarte te mira de reojo y luego vuelve a bajar la mirada. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Fue arrancada del escudo que se usó para montarlo, lo más probable que en una pared. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Esalindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. De la isla insulindica, la parte del mundo en la que te encuentras ahora mismo. The small steel tag says as much. The great skua. Pagalo grande. Stay coarious skua. Cazaracta skua. Vamos a ver qué ha pasado. Look, your buddy is over there. Mire, su colega anda por ahí. 
Mira, ya las puertas donde un hombre con una cazadora naranja está repiqueteando en el suelo con un pie. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. ¿Eres el camarero? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Entendido. Irme. Está obviamente cabreado. El menú solo tiene acceso a palabra. El resto está borrado. El menú de ayer lo escribió una mujer. El de hoy tiene letra de hombre. Es un enfriador de agua. Una gran burbuja emerge hasta la superficie. Objeto curativo. El suelo de un en el que hay alguien trabajando en la cocina. La puerta está cerrada con llave. Un letrero dice cocina reservada para el personal hasta las una. Vale, a ver aquí. Vislumbras para Fernaria del sindicato. Un cartel de, huel de huelga y unos banderines rojos. Letrero dice comedor reservado para los miembros del sindicato. Apertura a las cuatro. Una, silla. Una máquina de pinball. Royal. Está desconectada. ¿Hablamos con esto? Hello, sweetie. Lena, la esposa del cristófalo. Cristófalo. Hola, cielo. You shouldn't keep your colleague no vas a esperar waiting. a tu compañero. Hace un gesto con la cabeza hacia el hombre que la cazadora no la Vamos a hablar con el compañero. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Parece que está esperando. You. A mí. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Entre cierra los ojos y te ofrece la mano en señal de saludo. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back. Are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. En su manga la cazadora así como en su espalda distingue los mismos rectángulos blancos tan enigmáticos que hay en tu chaqueta. Yo también lo había visto. Estrecha la mano. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Usted debe ser de la 41. O sea. Es del distrito 57 y yo otro distrito de 40. You realize he's waiting for your name. Vale, inventa tu nombre. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it. But there are still many to go. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little Parece que tuvimos un pequeño problema para cuadrar agendas el domingo. Y también el sábado. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Dígame. Ha tenido tiempo de charlar con el gerente. What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Te refieres a él, a sentir en dirección al gerente. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well, I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? No, it's not. Good. 
But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Vale, estupendo. Pero si ese no fuera el caso, no tendremos tiempo de hacerlo tras el informe del forense. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? No. So the body is still in the tree, where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Entonces en marcha. After you, officer. Interroga gente y se mira el cuerpo de la víctima. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Vale, espera. You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting vale. the body down should still vale. take precedence. Que sí, que sí, que ya lo Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Vale. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Do we get algo? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Voy Prison 57. This is an interdistrict investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. La comisaría, esta será una investigación interdepartamental, así que procede a la comisaría 41, me acompaña. Te mira que llena la cuenta de cuando sale tu nombre. Are you kidding me? Right. Now. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Yo soy Sylvie quien llamo. Normalmente sí era que te llamo. Estoy aquí temporalmente encargándome de sus quejeres. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Me encuentro en trozo de papel y se lo entrega al teniente. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? Of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. Mm. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Joder, qué bien. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. 
Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Yeah, preguntas, déjame la His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Ask him about the body's location before ask him if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Vale. Señala la cocina que estaba cerrada. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Vale, salir por la puerta y girar a la derecha. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocents Franco Negro sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Vale, ¿por qué se marchó? She went away because none of your business. ¿Cómo? Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Se marchó por culpa del cadáver. Asustada. Thank you. El teniente abre su cuaderno por la portada y guarda el número de forma segura en un pequeño bolsillo. <coughs> no fue I bien. asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Le pedí salir a una empleada, no quería ir, pero se sentía obligada. Fue una mala idea. ¿Qué tiene eso de fascinante? No tiene nada que ver con el hinchamiento. Entonces voy a ver con el contrasenso de ministro. Bueno, me está un poco... A ver... Si es de buen grado... Claro, le pedí salir, no quería ir, pero se sentía obligada, claro. Todo tiene que ver con todo, no lo sé, me he dejado llevar. Tienes razón. Esto tiene que ver con todo. Me, supongo que me gusta ser minucioso. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Oh, I don't know, know who killed him. No sé I'm not the no police. Policía. That's Ese your es job. Yo que sé, a lo mejor lo this is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they if he doesn't know? No. Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Oh, se sorprende que te haya dado cuenta. La gente dice que fueron los estibadores del sindicato que lo lincharon. ¿Quién dice eso exactamente? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Y todo el mundo sabe que fueron algunos de ellos, de los estibadores. Did the debaters themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? 
Yes, the strike. Yeah, well, uh, the man they hanged was a security no, guard well, uh, for the harbour company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Vaya. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Let's go. Tarea completada. Ven, vale. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. 130 real. Eso va One moment you're running like the wind, then you suddenly turned around yes. and are giving him the finger, furiously, with both hands. Why? En un instante echas a correr como el viento, y al siguiente te elevas mientras dedicas al hombre una peineta con ambas manos, con mucho ímpetu. ¿Por qué? Tengo la señora así, verdad, justo detrás, verdad. Joder, ¿por qué habéis usado ambas manos? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¡Que te den brigado! ¡Que te den brigado! ¡Watch out! Everything goes dark. Back so soon. Me hace totalmente la pena. Admitted, you just missed the quarter light, the darkness on the edge of town. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? terrifying? Have you felt the love? What do you mean? What do I mean? Are you okay? You have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. Mm, vale, the the bien. chair took the brunt of it. Don't worry. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, yes. Check on him. Sir, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window though. That's a hundred sir. He's shaken. Barter now and he'll cave in. Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me 60 real for three nights stay. If you don't have it by tonight, I just can't let you up there. Bueno, 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 bueno. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Ya lo pagaré. No te da dinero. Y por amigo, tenga cuidado. By the way. Where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Why did you say that? No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place, one that is impossible to climb back to. 
That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Me enterras temporada de investigación. No me da ideas. Todo bien, me recostamos tus pedos. Vamos de vuelta a casa. Vamos a ver la foto. Sale del puente y avisa al canal. Sube este de aquí antes de salir de asfalto. Unos 20 minutos de asfalto. Los pies por los pares y luego para asustar a los niños pequeños. Pues se puede bajar de la base y llevar un carácter de la base de la base de la base de la base de la Me aviso de memoria fácil, al final de la investigación 6 horas. ¿Cuánto es la liquidad? Interiorizar. No sé lo que estoy haciendo. <coughs> Examina el cuerpo de la víctima. Inicia de aparición. Se voy a denunciar la contacta cuanto antes en la comisaría del distinto 41. El teniente te ha sugerido utilizar la radio de su carruaje motorizado. Vale. Alguien llamó al MCR para denunciar el ahorcamiento. Descubrí quién fue arrojado. Algo de luz sobre los hechos. Tienes una ligera idea de por dónde empezar. Aunque la llamada pudo hacerla cualquiera. Ponte en contacto con Silvi utilizando la radio de Kim y pregúntale si fue ella quien hizo la llamada. Vale, y pagar eso que te sí, sí. Mañana. Ya le pago mañana. Cuando tenga que dormir. Que tenga dinero. Cada uno tenga dinero. Nos vamos. Can I help you? <laughs> Me voy. Vale, salimos por la puerta. The theme on that pinball machine sí, is a standard royalist theme used on everything partes, from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. ¿Qué caracteriza? Al legitimismo, clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. The contemporary period stands still. The fated carousel of progress that doomed the royalists is itself winding down. Our time is decelerating into what no one knows. No vamos. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. Okay. 
Jeez. Aquí está. El tipo. Vamos a investigar. Huele a carne podría ir a que fermentado. Un ser humano se descompone. A ver, chaval, este. Vete de aquí tú, niñato. ¿Qué haces? ¿Cómo got this? No controla el chico que está arrojando piedras al cadáver. No debe tener más de 12 años. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly king, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Aquí está el tío, aquí está el tipo. Oh yeah, Napa Gumpy Kuno. Grita el otro niño desde la ventana de la valla. Ah, que hay otro ahí arriba, arriba a la izquierda, la valla verde y fuerte. Pero vamos a hacer una cosa. Creo que sí. Ahí no, que se ve. Eh, chaval, tienes un momento, haz tu publicidad. En este momento, por favor. Vale, lo haces un momento. Se me sube la mierda. Tengo que tirar piedra. ¿Qué dice? Shit coming up strong. Se me sube la mierda, suena bien dicho. Deberías pasar tiempo con este chaval y averiguar a qué mierda jugosa se refiere. Se me sube la mierda. ¿Jugosa o qué? I mean drugs. Drogas. El chico drugs. va hasta las cejas, ya, ya. Eso, Kuno, cagarlo, el rayo. Kuno está en ello. Eh. Se limpia el sudor de la frente y lanza otra piedra. El rastrillo, Kuno. Tira el rastrillo, Kuno. Es un puto rastillo. Kuno no es jardinero. <risa> Oye, ¿quieres dar una vuelta? No soy un estupa. Mira, tengo que hacerte unas preguntas. Oye, ¿quieres dar una vuelta? No soy un estupa. Es una trampa de mierda. Fast. This kid has got street smarts. ¿Vosotros dos sois hermanos? El chico tiene otra piedra. Dice que somos... No follamos. Mira, tengo que hacerte unas preguntas. Alright, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. A ver, que yo me enteré. ¿Quién es Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig. Kuno es Kuno. El chico se apunta al pecho con los dos pulgares. Es siempre Kuno, nunca yo. Claro que el chico está usando una perspectiva en tercera persona para protegerse. Interesante, así que te refieres a ti mismo en tercera persona para distanciarte de la estación. ¿Por qué te refieres a ti mismo en tercera persona? Vale, ¿es alguna especie de nombre pandillero? Sí, Kuno es en una fucking gang, en una bang gang. Kuno bangs for magie, bangs for Mazda, bangs for Revachot. Madre mía. Mira, Kuno, quiere tocartearte, quiere magrearte. La cosa tras la valla empieza a chillar ahora y violenta con una norma de incendio. ¿Pero qué dice? El sonido se hace más y más fuerte a medida que veo su hijo su grita hacia la ventana. Hacia la ventana. El chico se mantiene con Kuno, ayuda. Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Cualquier perdedor tiene que salir de aquí para atrasarme. Oye, que no estoy haciendo nada. Wow, Kuno, que tenga apoyo afuera, tendrías que estar cagado de miedo. Al cerebro le meto la mano en el culo. Adiós. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Look. For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that 
I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look, the rage look. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. There's a dead body, remember? That's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. It's good you said that. Here it is. Here we go. Kuro likes this. Oh no. You pussied out again. Shouldn't have done that. Kuro's gonna bitch you out now. Kuro's gonna sublet you. Pass you around like candy, fat boy. Pass your fat ass around. Su dominio, el rey Kuno. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch. You're gonna be in this shit, este Kuno. Kuno. <laughs> no, you're not. <coughs> We can just leave. No, no está. Podemos marcharnos. Bitch, you're gonna be in this shit, Kuno. Kuno, Kuno para siempre. La verdura del gorro Pipo no le deja terminar. A Pipo is a type of hat, by the way. Bonito Pipo. You don't talk to me about my fucking Pipo. You don't know where I come from. You just Kuno's bottom bitch. Okay, Kuno is kind to his bitch. Qué Ask buena. the questions, but remember, this changes shit. Esto cambia las nuevas. Click, 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 click. El pequeño capullo de gorro pipo chasquea la lengua. Empatía 1 Espera de cabeza de esa va cerca de él. Shitload pig, what's your question? Un cojón cerdo, ¿qué quieres saber? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Pasa de cerdo, Kuno. This is where you quickly ask him Ahora questions. Real cop questions, like a cop. ¿Sabes cómo acabé de viva? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy Trepando, down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking. A la puta. Mira. A su alrededor mientras intenta inventarse algo. Mesk or. or. I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. <laughs> There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kuno didn't smoke him if that's what you mean. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. El puto espantapájaros de Kuno. Coge una piedra. Kuno lo usaba para practicar tiro blanco. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Me refería a quién era él antes de que me Kuno diera. knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Un Kuno chilote. sing into the popo <coughs> phone. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Nah, nah. Nada más que un par de cerdos metiendo en los hocicos en el barro. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Faggoty. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost. F <laughs> Kuno, quiero ver algo de esa aquí. Hay mucho juego por aquí. Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. Yeah, whatever. Kuno, Kuno doesn't fucking care. Vale, me voy. 
Vamos a mirar, Arbor. Una escalera para mí es un poco desnatizada, pero practicable. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says Whirling in Rags. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. Vale. Hablamos con este. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Me voy. Estos niños son... Bien, ¿no? Vale. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Maybe more than twelve. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Ocho pares de botas. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty-six. Bota de trabajo estándar con puntera reforzada de acero, de cuarenta y seis. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty-four. Three, hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty-three. Four, standard work boot, number forty-five or forty-six. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty-four. Six, an aberration, light as air, even pace, same make of boot, 
Bot number 41. Pisa ligera como el aire, paso uniforme, la misma marca de bota pero el 41. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. You're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Eight, and yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. How many? What? I was pretty off then. I counted 20. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? A woman or a kid? Okay. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Understood. Anything else? Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. But why? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just <coughs> march him up to the gallows. Even easier to carry on the stretcher. Puede ser. Between two men. Con la, anyway, it's con la for cara. future consideration. What else can you see? Una suela. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Uh -huh. idea, Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Y va a usar la bota. A drummer only uses the right foot for the kick drum. You're right, it's stupid. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Deberíamos mantener los ojos bien abiertos por la zona del atasco en busca de algún sospechoso potencial. Creo que sería sensato. Vale, mm -hmm. no. El teniente escribe una información en su cuaderno y a continuación devuelve la atención a las huellas. ¿Cuánto tiempo crees que tienen estas huellas? A week, maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. No es imposible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do I think? 
que, que creo. Un grupo de personas trajo algo heavy para la tierra. Uno de ellos estaba cargando a la víctima. No paraban de moverse. Dicho fue el rojo, especialmente en el árbol. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle, facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed, they all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way, what else? Vale. Nos vamos. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten tonight. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of eaten tonight. That's why they're two. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Bueno. What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Hmm, ¿Por qué estaba tapada esta puerta? Vamos para allá. Still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine, sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good, vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Apartate o preparate. Es una cabeza de cerdo culata, parece una momia. Es un momento de magnesio que se trata por el pecho para guardar una vida feliz rica en magnesio. Dinerito. Siempre hay que mirar con el botón derecho. Vamos. Barriles casi a rebosar de agua de lluvia. Que no soy yo una de estas cosas. Mirito, <coughs> mirito. Hanging, hanging 
When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. Yeah. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020HK. Is it? Kvalsund makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Lo intento, y si me hostio. Pulling cloak with possible RCM markings Beca. is still caught on the railing. Fire. Nope, no. That's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast, you're a boxer, and you've climbed way too high up here. Vaya, vaya. You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. Hey, hey, what happened? Eh, estoy bien, Kim. No, no puedo hacer todo, amigo. I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak, after all. Vale, venga, pues nos vamos, nos vamos. Vamos a ir a dónde. Vamos a ir por aquí. Claro que no. Claro que no. Oye, si nadie me ha salido por aquí. Yes. Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Ah, if you insist. What do you want to know? That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seol, so was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Hmm. Yes, Seol. Mm -hmm. I don't speak a word of Seolite, and I've never met either one of my grandparents. There is nothing ethnic, I can tell you. 
or anyone else. What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Good. Let's change the subject. Vale. Nos vamos a salir para afuera. Vamos a ver si llamamos a... A la otra. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Kuprice Kinema motor carriage. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out <clears> toolbox <throat> under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes the frequency tabler, lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens, radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Primero el caso. Of course. What is the number, Officer? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? Una voz femenina te saluda a través de la estática. Suena como si estuviera a un millón de kilómetros de aquí. Sí, creo que ya nos conocemos. Soy yo, el detective Wilbur Rats. <coughs> ¿Cómo? All oh, right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? ¿Fue usted quien llamó a la policía? No, not me. 
llamada que se han quitado tener el cable de patio. ¿Sabe quién hizo esa llamada? No, sorry, I don't. <coughs> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the union's phone or the one on the coast. So the union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. Vamos a presionar un poquito. I, I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. The other people who live around here. Local people, I... I you don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the Union, internally. Hmm. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. I... I didn't know I had to report it. I... I thought someone would take him down eventually. You can almost hear the girl getting smaller on the other end of the line until she almost drowns in sta Okay. You mean why did I leave the bar? Claro, okay. Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Claro, but it why not? What? No, why would you even think that? Please, don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. Why? God, why can't you just mind your own business? She mutters. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. Vale, 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 vale. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Lo intento? Venga, lo intento. No. She doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy. Like Gart. Trust me. You wouldn't want to be the guy here. You know how it is. Yeah, no. You're the guy. You're Lieutenant Love. Matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out. Lest she turns into a spinster. Sí, es una mujer que tiene el tío para hacer una mercancía. Mujeres con pura tradición. Ey, Dios mío. No es soltera, no. Not a spinster, my God. You have to intervene on behalf of love. First, calm her down. Tell her you've got everything under control. And then go have a boy's talk with God himself. Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? You're just a gimp. What? You want to be more empathetic? Paul was terminated by the other party. Anything else, officer? Another person I go. Vale. 
Eso es todo por ahora. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the a metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. The handles are long and sleek. You can do good work with these. Cut chains, locks, and ropes. The pry bar feels useful for opening. It's robust, lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its lip. Y cerramos la puerta. Vale. Vale. Con la gente de por aquí. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Of course. What can I help you with? Of course. Where to? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. The harbor gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store too. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. What do you mean? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. He knows where we are. He just wants... No problem. She's very well composed. Me? She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt there is something else. In her rigid posture. Hmm. Is there? The quickness of the reply certainly does not prove you wrong. I am working. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. Well, as you probably no there's a corpse hanging from a tree there it smells pretty bad so i have to take breaks <laughs> don't worry miss we are here to clean it up you can get to work soon mm -hmm. thank you my head is about to explode from all the salts i've had to inhale salts ammonium salts perhaps useful for later of course I won't hold you back. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Sure, keep them. I have another pair. Muy bien. Vamos a ver el kiosk, pero que nos dice. No tengo en el Welcome to Ivashol. El camionero. El Gordon Flood. No se dirige a ti, sino al teniente. Bueno, 
Don't you welcome to Revachol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Come on, man, I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Hmm. <clears throat> Whatever you say, officers. He smells of heavy motor oils, and his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably Astra Whites. Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. The strike? I'd have been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Sí, resulta evidente que eres el máximo exponente de diseño superior. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe, huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. The problem? The damn kips are showing a real good game lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this then? It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birthplace? place? You might end up with a new sub-race? With unknown characteristics leading to extra competition? That's why you've got to control the offspring. <laughs> But go right ahead. You <clears throat> may be a cop, but that won't help you avoid the calamity to come. 
Lieutenant Kitsuragi's stern expression remains unchanged, but you sense something there. Not a lot of moral fiber on this one yet, he thinks, wriggled out of it. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. I don't know really long. Uh-huh. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bot. No quiero nada. Tres tes, que idioma aquí. of a scab smells like politics though maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time i was just messing with you no one's ever seen a cop scab imagine you cops going on a strike but then another cop comes in and says let us cop for less money <laughs> speaking of what brings the rcm here to the wild north come to see the strife You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike too. Just can't break the command structure and tell you now. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. If it's all so simple, why don't the strike breakers just go up the stairs? Aye. Walk right past Measurehead and go in. Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. Then press the button to unlock the door. Then go past him again. And you enter the arbor through the office. The staff. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Or you could convert to a semini supremacist worldview. Or hmm, maybe it actually is completely impossible. Sure. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Bro, 
Probably not. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Much better here at the harbor, for an honest union man like me. Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. The coin lands into your hand as if it has always belonged there. Always glad to help out the RCM. Shame I can't do more. Things are meager at the moment due to... You know, the winter's fat is slowly running out and all. Still better than scabbing. Oh, Nothing to worry about, really. The jam's a bit of a mess, cargo can't get in or out. The rationing is a bit stricter, is all. Supply should last a stride, though. I'm always glad to help out when possible. Not like these slithering scabs. right to work hold up and stay frosty everyone cops are here hmm. you here to fuck with us beat the honest worker down no good we're fighting for a cause here right to work Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Maybe you should ask them the questions, like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! Hmm. We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Main gate's locked. Take heavy ordnance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny mess bunk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. It would be better for the neighborhood if you were told, at least for now. If you claro, can't no get anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then, we charge. Honest men and women, with rights to work, to be useful. Not toys for corporate interests. Hmm. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. 
If Union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. Estos quieren trabajar y los otros están de huelga. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were given a job to do! Never. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. Right to work! It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. We are not picking a side in this just yet, sir. Pity. Let us work! No, vamos. No, vamos. of the traffic island pointing toward the sea it looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods a silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads i am <laughs> philip the <laughs> third the squanderer the greatest of the philippian kings of revachol son of philip the second opulent father of philip the fourth, the insane. <laughs> As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chess piece. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. <laughs> well, he blew through the whole national treasury starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachol. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor. He called it the Sol Aurum. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed like a normal person. But wait. You haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships, during the turn of the century revolution, when Martinez was leveled. Most historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up to even finer pieces. Huh. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Revachol in the poorest part of the city. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rare butterfly trapped in amber, 
floating on a sea of shit. People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Jared. Jared. Desde luego. Not that he ever did in life either. Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. Bullet. En la coraza. Ha impactado un objeto con gran energía en el cara del corazón. Una bala. Hostia, ¿y lo que impactó en mi ventana? Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. ¿Qué te parece? Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Puede ser. Target practice <coughs> or a political statement. If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. But then again, we don't claro, really know sabemos, what we are claro. dealing with here, so... Claro. I've made a note. Don't hold your breath. The king stands high above you. Rapiñando. Y aquí también. Bien, 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 bien. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? I just told you why. Simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Hey there. It's the jam, my man. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils, heavy metals, and other byproducts of the modern era. You can almost taste it. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight, no explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all-around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long-haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. In the limbo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's official. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. Hmm. 
feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. Or both. Well, yeah, go. imagine. It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Can't even get a few jokes past you, my man. I've got another haul of found cargo. Mostly sporting goods, tracksuits, and that kind of thing. Oh. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. <laughs> Pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. This rockin' beauty. Sure is, like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6? Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. Going on strike would probably help you dodge a bullet or two. Some pretty wild stuff I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town too. Like a strike negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah yes, from the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us okay. lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. Oh. He ain't one of us drivers, I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries. A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. <clears throat> Me. Huh? Oh. No, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. The bosses, man.
No sé quiénes se creen que son esos jefes, pero parece un buen acuerdo para ellos. Yeah, it sure ain't good for me. Or you. I'd spare a coin or two for a city cop down in his luck. If I had say four myself. Don't be a stranger. Vale. Vale, vale. Nos guarda. Tendríamos que volver. Oh. in a new and exciting book it's a bookstore sir we sell books postcards and some board games it's called crime romance and biographies of famous people books postcards easy even a kid would know all of this don't be a fool as an expert It's your duty to tell what you know to everyone. Oye, ya me decidió. Sir, are you okay? You've been standing here silently for a while now. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope my name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to help Mum out with the store. I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Es There is stress and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. Mum says it's peachy she was a little afraid at first there's talk about this house being cursed cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here sir that they all go well they run out of money and have to stop doing business We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case, but I don't see much more to look into him. Yes, please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers. Or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. But 
but it does make the famous people more famous. Okay, sir. No, sir, I can't. It would be too tiring to refrain from it. It's already tiring enough to remember to say it all the time. It's nice of you to say I could stop, though. That's a friendly enough face, most of the time. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that, and the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Uh... Crime is what we were solving before this conversation began. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. Hmm. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. En realidad, nadie se parece al tipejo de la foto. No es más que un estúpido personaje de ficción. Head, yes. Hmm. No, your mind. Not head, child. Heads. Isn't that very dangerous? Unlike you, sir. He's just a fictional character. He's no match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. You fail to deduce anything substantial. She waits intently. Come on, anyone would notice that. Compostura. ¿Cómo voy a ganar punto de vida? Ah, espera, es día 5. Vale, vale. vale. Hablamos con la madre. Welcome to Crime, Romance and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome and please take responsibility for the energy you bring <laughs> into this <laughs> space. <coughs> I am the proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Then why are you talking to me? Everything is on the shelves to browse. Don't you feel compelled to buy anything? See those shelves there? Go, be drawn. Everything is on the shelves. Take a look yourself. The shelves compel you, don't they? She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Very Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Come now, it's not personal. It's about proper sales practices and market research. My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Mind your own business, sir. Oh. In our society, people don't get to tell each other how to raise their children. It's well, none of your or anyone's business. Denial <laughs> is the way she copes with criticism. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Every Cursed? Who said that? Annette? 
I will have a word with her. This place is not cursed. It has magnética. a robustly magnetic energy. Good for commercial activity. My business is thriving, sir. Yeah, yeah. What in God's name is she talking about? Small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Parapsychologically hmm. speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll only make things worse and unleash the powers. The curtains do seem frail suddenly, not robust enough to contain a slippery darkness. No! Please just talk to me, officer. Come here. And let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Talking is always good. Go see what she has to say. You see a tattered set of curtains and a polyhedron shaped cage like trinket. You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash. A doorway stands in the back, covered in dozens of scary little cage like trinkets. Your shadow looming over it like an omen. I warned you, you're unleashing forces beyond your understanding. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of little oddly shaped drink only an echo. No one is there. A hollowed out dark echo. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you. Cover. A heavy door with a missing handle. Yes. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of little oddly shaped trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Ow! Shoot! 
Whose moronic idea was it to just run through the door? Don't you know that things like that hurt? Are you alright? This looked pretty intense and painful, I must admit. What is going on there? Are you really trying to break down the back door? I warn you, don't tempt the spirits, officer. Don't tempt the spirits or you'll damage the holy wards on the door. It barely looks like you've done any damage to the... These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. A couple of spook novels hide amidst all the detective. Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books great what's more, not a single mention of all the shelves filled to the The shelf reads biographies of faith. <laughs> this bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of faith. Vale, vamos a dejar por aquí, eh? Lo vamos a dejar por aquí. Es muy atrapante el juego. Y cómo sería guardar, guardarlo rápido. Ay, lo guardamos, lo guardamos. Eh, pues nada, me despido aquí en la tienda de crimen, romance y biografías de gente famosa y el disco Edition que me está flipando, me deja atrapadísimo este juego. Así que nos vemos en el próximo episodio. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.